I'm doing great. It was <laughs> such a fun episode last week. I can't wait for this week. It was really great for our friends. If you missed it, go back and check it out because we talk about three very powerful words that are going to help you out. And uh, so it's a whole uh, really a framework and a great idea that you cannot miss it. So, uh, well, today we're going to talk about patience, you know, this idea of building patience, which I think it becomes harder and harder for us as artists because we have this big pressure and push to do everything and to jumping on things early on because then you'll miss them right there's now this new word that's been used everywhere fomo fear of missing out and you know so like you don't want to be the last one to jump in into this or to do that or to take this new app or to try the new thing or you know and, and it's like we are constantly like eh, in in uh in fast forward mode and I think, you know, that's not healthy for us. Right? I think at the end of the day, we want to live as we talk, you and I, Beth, often here in the episode uh, or in this show, you know, about uh, building a, an art career or a creative career that you love to live and that you enjoy. And I think that's what it's all about. So have you uh, felt, uh, Beth, that, you know, this kind of a rush pace that often seems to be like pushing us in this FOMO mode? Yeah, I used to a long time ago, whenever I wasn't really sure of myself and my work. And I thought, well, I should do this or I should do that. Or, I should, you know, it's, I think we look outside of ourselves for answers. Mm -hmm. And that could be the cause of feeling that pressure. Mm -hmm. But when I think you look within yourself for answers, you start to connect to what's true for you. And that makes all the other outside voices less important. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, totally. And that's exactly what we're going to unpack today. I'm going to give you like three different things you can do, you know, to go against this FOMO mentality or fear of missing out. You better rush, you better get it done, you better go quickly at it, you know, before it's gone, um, which I think it's happening more and more. I, I saw it, uh, you know, particularly last year in 2021, you know, where more things are happening, technology keeps changing. Um, new platforms seem to show up every day, you know, new marketplaces, new NFTs, you know, uh, technologies, Web3. I mean, you start hearing all these names and headlines and all of us are like, ah, I better move quickly. So uh, I want to kind of provide <laughs> us all with kind of like three things that can help us to alleviate that, to be able to manage, uh, you know, uh, that stress so that we can be more patient. and. You know, for those uh, who know me personally, and for, you know, as you Beth, you know that I'm a very patient guy. I, I'm quite patient here in my house. You know, I'm very patient, <laughs> and they kind of know that. Uh, so, uh, you know, I, I feel that for as much as I preach, like you know, on my social media account, like let's do this, let's do that. You know, at the, in behind the scenes, I'm very patient. So I'm gonna tell you, you know, these three things that hopefully can help you also be patient. Because patient doesn't mean that you are slow or you are the last one to jump in into something you're just giving yourself time the adequate time that you need so the first one the first one i want to share with you is take time to listen and learn before you jump into something new right away you know i think a lot of mistakes happen when we jump into something that we just read a headline that i should be doing and i just got in jump in and it failed or it didn't work out or whatever it may be because we didn't take time to first listen and to learn right listen and learn and mm -hmm. i think that's something super important no matter what you're going into new thing whether it's an app or a way of doing things or or a new you know you know thing that you want to try take some time to listen first and learn before you jump into something and i think that's going to build up a little bit of patience and you say okay you know it's okay it's okay this is important i can see it's super important for me but i need a little bit of time to learn about it how's that mm -hmm. sound Love it. I, I think creating that space between like when you're thinking about things, when you're taking action, I think is a really valuable space to explore. And then you can find out, well, why is this important to me? What is it that I need to know? Who else knows about this that I can maybe talk to about it instead of just like, I'm going to just jump right in mm -hmm. fearlessly. Sometimes we do that though. We just jump into the deep end, learn to swim there, mm -hmm. but maybe it would be easier if we took some time to prepare ourselves beforehand. So right. love that first tip. 
Yeah, and it doesn't mean procrastination either, because you know you can also say, well, I'm still listening and learning forever, <laughs> but you never took action, right? And and here in our conversations, we always talk about taking action, super important, but just to give yourself that adequate cushion time so you know what you're doing. And then the second one that I think is super important is finding your own rhythm or pace, you know, which I think when something comes in new, tends to disrupt us. Uh, so often what it does is tries to accelerate the pace in which we are functioning or working at. And that's what creates the stress. All of a sudden, you don't mm -hmm. have time. All of a sudden, you forgot some deadlines. All of a sudden, now you have another thing that you got to do after the, your already busy schedule. So it comes to disrupt your rhythm. And uh, all these things happen all the time. So finding your own rhythm and your pace allows you that when one of these disruptors come in, even if it's a really good thing, to find how you can slowly bring it in into that new rhythm. Mm. And it could even be something as simple as, okay, now more people are doing video on social media, right? How can I implement that in my rhythm of, of you know, showing up in a way that is not going to now disrupt my whole thing. So all I'm thinking like all this stressful, I gotta do more videos. You know, just kind of honoring or recognizing your rhythm and finding how you're gonna bring that new thing into that rhythm versus you jumping into whatever uh, rhythm the other thing is at. Yeah, I love that because it reminds me of flow and we all have different yeah. um, paces of flow, yeah. different mm -hmm. rhythms, like you were saying. And if we can jump into that in a way that is honoring who we are as individuals and the things that we want to do and the things that we're already currently doing so that we don't overwhelm ourselves, mm -hmm. that feels like balance. And I love that. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. And uh, like you said, you know, we all have different rhythm, different pace, and also at different times or seasons in life. You know, there are seasons mm -hmm. in which you need to slow down and you slow down. And it's okay if the world continues to go fast. And there are seasons in which like, okay, I got a lot of time. I'm going to pick up and move faster. And that's okay. But the difference is like, you set the pace versus everybody else setting the pace for you. If you don't set up your own pace, mm -hmm. everybody will tell you, you should go faster, you should go faster, you should go faster. So um, I think that's kind of like finding that. And it's, it is hard in a world in which we are pressured by all these things we need to do, finding our own pace and our own rhythm. And then the third one and last one I want to uh, share with you. So we talk about first, take time to listen and to learn, find your own pace and your rhythm. And your third one, which will be also um, listen to yourself and watch your stress level. Because a lot of times our stress level is our indicators or gauging um, you know, tool to figure out, okay, if my stress level is going up, there's gotta be a reason, right? I'm, I'm accelerating my pace too much. And that's why I'm stressed out. That's why I'm, mm -hmm. you know, having short answers to my kids or my friends. So that's why I keep forgetting to, you know, uh, call my friends or reply to that phone call or go out for coffee with somebody I, I really want to be with is because, you know, we are building all that stress level. So, uh, being in tune with our bodies, with our mind, and listening to ourself, something that you talk a lot uh, Beth, about, you know, I think it's super important to realize, wait a minute, you know, my FOMO is kicking in, my fear of missing out for absolutely no reason, when I can go back, claim it again, uh, and uh, and lower that stress. Because at the end of the day, nobody, sometimes we act like as artists, like somebody's taking notes, like, oh, Beth, you forgot to post today, you know, you were supposed to do a video, you didn't do it, you know, and then all of a sudden we have this big stress, like nobody's taking us, nobody's doing, if you don't get to do it today, it's always tomorrow. So. I love it. You know, I'm all about reducing that stress level. The best that we can do is listen to ourselves because our body will tell us mm -hmm. where we're at. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we just need to rest. Yeah. I was reading something the other day about the different types of rest that we can do, mm -hmm. emotional rest, physical rest, and mental rest, all these things that I think if we compartmentalize our rest, like we'll actually rest better. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I was thinking about, I think I need a lot of emotional rest. <laughs> 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 Whatever that looks like, um, I need it because right. I, when I feel my nervous system starting mm -hmm. to fire off at me with the stress and the overwhelm, the best thing yeah. to do is just turn all those senses off. Like laying down in a dark room really helps me, but for those of you who are feeling the stress, listen to it, like Sergio says, so that you yeah. learn how to manage it so much better. Yeah, one of the, and that just reminded me, you know, um, we are finishing, my wife and I were finishing the book that we are writing for artists on mindset and wellness. And uh, so I was, you know, 
reading the book, the chapter so I could respond to it. And uh, so I sit down in a couch, very comfortable in the morning. And uh, so I'm reading it and then I, I fell asleep, you know, for like an hour. And oh my I, I woke up and, uh, you know, I'm like, geez, you know, I, I should have been already writing by this time, you know, but then I realized, wait, I remembered about this, you know, that I'm talking about today. Well, it's okay. You know, my body needed the rest. My brain needed the rest. And actually I think what I wrote was much better than if I had just pushed myself to do mm -hmm. the job, you know, because my brain said, you know, take a break, <laughs> you know, take a break. And, uh, and so that, you know, everything kind of works out better. So yeah, listening to ourselves, listening to our bodies, super important, not pushing it. And, you know, don't be afraid of missing out. You know, you are okay. As long as you are an action taker and you continue to take action, you know, just don't rush into falling into things that uh, otherwise will just uh, cause a lot of stress in your life uh, when everybody's still around here. So that's it, Beth. That's it. That's all I have to say today. Love it. <laughs> Excellent. So where can our friends, Beth, find you and uh, connect with you on social media or on the web? Well, 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 you guys can find me on Facebook and Instagram at Beth English and my website's BethEnglish.com. And I would love to connect with you. So send me a message and let's say hi, you know? Absolutely. I love it. What about and you? For, yeah, for me, you guys can find me at Sergio Gomez Art, whatever you may be at. And uh, my website, Sergio Gomez Online.com and the uh, Artist Next Level at TheArtistNextLevel.com. So thank you guys for watching this. Hope you have a great time. Make sure that you take time to uh, listen to yourself. Be patient, mm -hmm. exercise patience, super important. Maybe this week, you know, exercise patience. Maybe you're already at a certain stress level today. Exercise patience and let us know how that goes. So see you later, my friends. Till next week. Goodbye. Bye.